Hi, this is Michael Buffer, and uh, let's get ready for EJ Boxing Live. EJ Boxing Live here. EJ Boxing Live here. EJ Box Alive here, Russo Rupert right Sabravis, um, great conditioner coach, um, to, um, help uh, Amir Khan and uh, also with David Hay, back with David Hay. Yeah. Um, how's David looking and what kind of what kind of things you've been working on and, and you know what? In, in fact, yeah, you, you tell the people about the history, how come you guys got back together or why you left? Can you tell that? Uh, I left because David retired, so I was with David uh, I helped him train for Nikolai Valuev back in 2009. I was in that camp for about four or five months before he went out to fight. And then I helped him uh, for all his world title defenses. I helped him for the fight with uh, Vladimir Klitschko. And then David retired. And at that point, Amir Khan asked me to train him. So I moved stateside. I went and uh, was helping Amir train. Then uh, Amir went to train with um, his coach now, I forget the guy's name. He's Andre Ward's coach. Oh, you're talking about Virgil Hunter? Virgil Hunter, yeah. yeah. And he went to train with Virgil Hunter. And Virgil just said he had his own team of strength and conditioning coaches and stuff. So I said to Amir, you never want to fight. Uh, the boxing coach. You always want him to welcome you with open arms and he didn't know me. He, he knew his guys and the way they work so I said to him, go and work with him and I just went and did my own thing. I was uh, running some, some, some successful gyms and doing my thing and so I've been out the loop. However, because of my relationship with David, I always come fight night, go and support him and I know how he likes things so his new team I would always say, listen, try and do this and that. It's too late because his team had done the work but I always came and helped um, and then for the last few years I've slowly watched his decline in terms of athletic ability, his strength, his speed, his power not because he didn't have them but because he wasn't using them and he wasn't, they weren't being awoken in training so he asked me to come back about 12 weeks ago and I said perfect that's just about enough time for me to get you in the best physical condition and really awaken his athletic ability, his power, his strength. So we, I've worked a lot on his power and his strength, uh, his power endurance, so his ability to be able to throw explosive punches from round one through to round 12. Um, also, it's no secret that he's had injuries, so uh, yeah, we started off with rehabilitation. Yeah, the Achilles. Yeah, then Achilles snapped his Achilles tendon, um, and so we just basically, with the whole team, not just myself, he's got an amazing physiotherapist called Kevin Didler who helped him throughout his whole rehab. I speak to Kevin on a daily basis. I speak to Ishmael Salas on a daily basis. Uh, Ishmael Salas, just, we have breakfast every morning and he tells me what he wants out of David, uh, how fresh he wants him to punching sessions, how fresh he wants him to sparring sessions. Um, and how he wants him to move. He said his balance wasn't quite right at the beginning of camp. So I just worked on all of those things. Uh, I've got a lot of experience with being a pack athlete myself in the past. Um, I was an international corner meter hurdler and I've trained a lot of footballers, etc. So I've trained many different sports. So I just tried to bring all that experience uh, into David's camp this time round and knowing his body the way I do. We came up with a game plan for the gym and for all the boxing sessions with Silas and everything's worked out perfectly well so we're really happy with the results. What kind of, well, yeah, well, that's what I was going to say because all the, all the build up to that, like, obviously all the training, what kind of performance are we going to expect on Saturday? Are we going to expect the old, what kind of, in terms of opponent, like uh, a more I can't, really, yeah, I can't really say too much but I think you should expect a, a new haymaker. Um, someone who is very methodical and surgeon like um, and that's what Tony Bellew and his team should expect. It's going to be a great fight. I'm really looking forward to it. Normally I'm very nervous before fights for this fight. I'm not nervous yet. I have a crazy confidence uh, in my athlete and what he's going to be able to do. Um, I've been very, very lucky and privileged to be working with Ishmael Salas who has taught me so much. I've learned from the likes of uh, Angelo Dundee, Manuel Stewart, Freddie Roach, Adam Booth and Ishmael Salas is just, in my opinion, the best coach in the world. He's a very good teacher. He breaks everything down. He's very methodical, he's very meticulous.
ruthless about what he wants and how he wants it and he pushes me, pushes me every day, he says right this is working perfectly, I want more on this end and that's what I've been doing and it's, I've really enjoyed this camp. Absolutely man, hey listen, I swear I've, I've been, from what we're saying, we're expecting a bit of the best of David here. Yeah. Um, hey Ruben, I appreciate you giving the interview and um, obviously, hopefully, I hope your man does well on Saturday night. Tune in Saturday night, it's going to be explosive. Thank you very much, no worries. Hi, this is Michael Buffer, and uh, let's get ready for EJ Boxing Live. DJ Boxing Live here. DJ Boxing Live here.